Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. I got a bit of an oddity for you. A head scratcher. What's going on here? RJ45, or USB, RJ45 extension adapter. So this is supposed to be used to extend one of them, both of them, extend network with USB. That's almost insane. You might as well just make two female ends in order to uh, extend the cable. Why would you use something like this? Anyways, also, there's four data pins within USB but there are uh, there are eight wires within uh, a network cable but what's interesting is I believe that only the ones with color and not the striped ones carry data so that's only four data and then four for PoE power over Ethernet and uh, this definitely wouldn't work out like that and I'm almost wondering if this would be backwards compatible and you could use this as a USB extension cable but only one side anyways we will get into that but first I want to test these connections I want to see if they are any good I'll have to run and get another unit of course I never have small patch sizes when I do videos and need them but that's just how it goes right so anyways this should this cable checker should oh, on this side go down the numbers and verify that all of the ports are there let's see what it does when I do this huh. it doesn't pick up anything it doesn't pick up anything what's going on there Maybe it doesn't show up because, oh, that's stuck in there. Oh, man. Let's push down and down. And, yeah, she's fighting me, that's for sure. Anyways, let's just verify that this is good. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll verify that this one is good. Maybe this is just the wrong kind of tester. Maybe because we can't get it in pairs, this thing's not going to work. Yep. Yeah, it works, but maybe because we don't have the pairs, this won't work. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to use it as if it was a USB cable extension. So let's say we needed a USB cable plugged in. One sec. All right, so let's test this out. Let's say that this is the computer that has all of my furry hentai on it, right? This is the side I'll plug into my computer, and then I will do the extension with the Cat5. This has got to be Cat5. I don't think this is Cat6. Um, I'll plug this in my computer and see if it actually takes it. Holy frick, guys, it actually worked. Check this out. It is transferring at uh, about one megabyte a second, which isn't the best, not the worst, of course. And it's just plugged in right in here. Right in here with the adapter coming on up. And there it is. And there it is. That is so cool. Okay, so for some reason, I don't know why I use that extra extension, but I'm going to plug that USB directly into the adapter unit and bypass the uh, multi-core. Okay, so I plugged it in more directly, and I'm getting about the same speed, and as you can see, my furry prawns. Now, I wonder how long I can make this. I mean, in school I heard you could only do it for about six feet, but I know I have extension cables that went further than six feet. I wonder if I use a better cable, if I will get better results. Okay, next up, three foot brand name star tech and I'm getting about the same result so I think this is about the top speed that we're gonna get out of this kind of unit for this purpose all right and this time without the tripod sorry about the shake what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the network this is the network coming from the wall and this is it going to my computer and I don't think it's working Nope, it is not made for this. So, in conclusion, this device was made f 
for USB extension and not network extension. Very interesting. Now, let's take a look at what's inside of them. All right, so I got the first one open, and interestingly enough, this is there's actually a chip on here. I have no idea why there would actually be a chip on here because I thought it would have just been metal transferring metal. Why would it need a chip? It it should just be like an extension cable, right? I don't get it. No, uh, you know, it's probably some spy stuff, some Chinese spy stuff. They're spying on me. They gotta be, yep. Everyone's just spying on little old me. And that's how it goes. Let's check out the other side. But seriously, if anyone can think of why it would need a chip, like, maybe a capacitor, you know, maybe. But a chip? Huh. I have no idea why. A chip. I would have thought, yeah, the connections that actually connect would just run down here. But I don't get why it has a microchip. I don't get why it's got that thing. And of course, we have the, the codes on the front. And they are different codes, of course. I just can't get over that, the chip. Huh. Alright, well I looked those chips up online and I can't find any information, so if anybody knows, I'd be really interested in finding out why it needs a chip. I mean, maybe, maybe a capacitor, but a chip? A chip is usually to do calculations, not to just run data, and the data coming through is simply on a wire. So, there's no need for it. Maybe it's an encryption? Could it be an encryption? Why would you need to encrypt something like that, though? Maybe it's something to reduce the noise, but then I thought that something like that would be more of an analog thing. But usually with a microchip, it's for, like, uh, some sort of an operating system at a, at a small level that uh, runs a particular task. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyways, interesting stuff. Interesting, weird stuff. I can easily get this back together. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.